Hello everyone, one welcome to this tour through the special exhibition 50 Years Porsche Research and Development Center in Weissach. For more than 70 years, Porsche has been acknowledged as one of the leading manufacturers of premium sports cars. This success story is based on many decades of development experience, well beyond sports car construction. Performing development work for clients began by Professor Ferdinand Porsche and his engineering office in the 1930s, and is still continued successfully as an unbroken tradition by Porsche Engineering Group today. For more than 90 years, Porsche has been closely linked with engineering services for clients. And these services are a key Porsche business element. The Porsche Research and Development Center in Weissach plays a decisive part in this process. Porsche tackles challenging technical tasks on behalf of clients all over the globe. In the past 50 years, Porsche engineers and technicians have completed thousands of projects for a long list of external clients. Today, the R&D center in Weissach can justly claim to be among the world's most reputable and versatile providers of engineering services. As time went on, Ferdinand Porsche's small engineering office in Stuttgart grew into the sports car manufacturer Porsche with its own research and development center with no parallel anywhere in the world. The groundbreaking ceremony for the skid pad was performed there 60 years ago on October the 16th, 1961 by Ferry Porsche. The Weissach Research and Development Center, in German Entwicklungszentrum Weissach, short EZW, was opened officially on October the 1st, 1971. Since then, the R&D Center in Weissach develops technologies that the world is fascinated by. 25 kilometers west of Stuttgart, the site of the future proving ground was introduced by Porsche mechanic and race driver Herbert Linge. As the question arose where to go because testing on public roads was becoming increasingly difficult, Porsche was looking for new terrain. Ferry did not want to use fertile land, and so Linge came up with the proposal to come to Weissach. There would be enough unfertile land. Half of the suggested land was property of the authorities in Weissach and Flacht. The other half was privately owned and broken up into many small lots. A year later, on October the 16th, 1961, the groundbreaking ceremony was performed by Ferry Porsche for construction stage one. A circle track called the skid pad with a diameter of 200 meters was created it immediately began to supply valuable information on the dynamic behavior of Porsche testing vehicle. The data could be evaluated so that the engineer soon began to demand means of performing additional tests. Between 1967 and 1970, circuits were built for functional and strength testing, including the necessary rough row section of track. The two circuits surrounding the skid pad were intended for different purposes. One is a high-speed Can-Am track, 2.53 kilometers long, on which cars could subject it to endurance and wear test. Alongside this is a 2.87 kilometers long mountain section with successive uphill and downhill gradients and corners that represents a challenge to the driver skill. Other special sections were included to impose extreme loads on the testing vehicle with potholes, cobblestones, and of course, the deep water splashes. The main plant in Zuffenhausen, although repeatedly extended, simply provided too little space for further test rigs and experimental facilities. Porsche's management, therefore, decided to enlarge the Weisser proving ground. Additional land was purchased to increase the site area from 38 to 45 hectares. The plans for the future Porsche Research and Development Center in Weisser took shape and construction work began in 1969. Building one, the first to be completed, initially housed auxiliary facilities such as the foundry, heat treatment shop, forge, woodwork and modeling department, warehouse and various test rigs. In addition, a sled test bench was built under a three-storied building to simulate rear impact and head-on collisions. Together with that installed test rigs and workshop for prototypes, which was also accommodated there, 
gave a clear picture of the idea behind the concept of the Research and Development Center, which is still innovative from nowadays perspective. The Weissach Research and Development Center was made up by many small think tanks, thus ensuring a high speed of reaction and development. In autumn 1971, the entire development department was relocated from Zuffenhausen to Weissach. In 1972, the design department, including Porsche Stahl, moved to Weissach. What started in Weissach in 1961 with a skid pad for suspension testing has developed in the past six decades into a major think tank employing almost 7,000 employees, including the acoustic measurement cell, the climate pressure chamber, measuring center for environmental protection, engine and mechanical assembly test center, streamlining measurement center, drivetrain center, the emission laboratory, light alloy foundry, crash test facility, and of course, last but not least, the very famous and successful motorsports department. One of the most prominent customer projects of this period was without doubt the development of the TAC turbo engine. Thanks to the financial support from Mr. Manzu OJ, the British racing team company McLaren was able to commission in Weissach the development of a Formula One turbo engine. The up to 1,000 horsepower strong engine, which was debuted in 1983 season, was almost unbeatable between 1984 and 1986 and allowed McLaren to win three drivers and two manufacturers world championship titles. This special car with the name C88 was presented by Porsche in 1994 and was made for the China market. The car was tailored to Chinese customer requirements and sought to achieve a special timeless design. The development goals included simple production method, a high quality standard, and a high level of vehicle safety. In the interior, Porsche designers developed their own aesthetic characterized by elements of Chinese culture, which also took into account ergonomics tailored to Chinese population. The project name C88 was also given for a special reason. The number 88 means good luck in Chinese. We make ideas tangible is the motto of the model makers at Porsche's Research and Development Center in Weissach. In the early stages of a design studio, which is called at Porsche, Porsche style, when the team wants to illustrate the proportion of a future car, a variety of different plastic block materials are used. However, the first visualization is always created out of modeling clay. From there, step by step, the ideas of Porsche style come to life. But how do designers recognize what will constitute the contemporary lines of tomorrow? It's less myth than mechanics. It's not the kiss of the muse that creates a formal fascination with the future, but a leap in time. It's the designer's job to look beyond, here and now, two words to the future, more or less constantly. Study how a designer think, and you will find that they are not really living in the present, but are already a step ahead. Today, Porsche has become a product family with sports cars, sports saloons, roadsters, all terrain vehicles, and e-cars as well. This presents the designers with new tasks. At the end, all the cars must be recognizable as Porsche. So as the Le Mans living legend design here on display. This extreme road sports car based on the Porsche Boxster is reminiscent of the groundbreaking Porsche 550 racing coupe that started in 1953 at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The front and rear bonnet open opposite direction and the fuel is supplied by a central nozzle at the front. At the rear you find an eight cylinder engine with excessive sound development. A great example with the Porsche 550 is how timeless their creation is to this day. And it seems to be true that every designer of any decades needs to look toward the future, like the designers do at Porsche style. 
The motorsports department of Porsche is located on the border to Weissach and belongs to the authority in Flacht. Because of the very small physical distance to the research and development center, the employees of the motorsports department like to joke that they are different, namely special, what they are. Motorsports is a principle for Porsche. It is like the extended arm for the experimental laboratory. And this since 1951, where Porsche for the very first time appeared in the starting lineup for the 24 hours of Le Mans. The sports car manufacturer can look back on numerous records and highlights at many racetracks, especially at the racetrack on the River Sacht. Porsche has made memories that will last for eternity with its 108 class wins and 19 overall victories at Le Mans. Racing has always been a part of the Porsche DNA. You find some names here on display, such as Hans Metzger, the turbo developer, Norbert Singer, the aerodynamics master, so as the race drivers, Walter Röhrl, Mark Lieb, Simona de Silvestro, Timo Bernhardt, and many more could be even mentioned that are well known in the motorsports cosmos from Porsche. Because of this achievement and honor, the employees are very proud to be a part of it, that they love to tag their race cars sometimes with the label Made in Flacht. This was our short tour through the special exhibition 50 Years of Porsche Research and Development Center in Weissach. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to step by to experience by yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.